Hi everyone, I'm Pierre Bonnet, founder of the MDM Alliance Group. I wanted to record this short video to explain how a MDM system, a master data management system, can help a company to enforce financial regulations. Most of the time, financial data stem from many databases within an information system. It means not only from an integrated and unified financial system. Indeed, much information related to extra-financial issues must be integrated, such as human resources and tangible assets, measurements that are not included in uh, usual accounting, uh, and so on. Moreover, a lot of other information come from financial regulations must also be integrated, such as assets and liabilities classifications. Then the question I wanted to raise is how a company can secure uh, this financial integration process and align it with business regulations. In this first part of my presentation, I will set the scene of data concerns and solutions to tackle data integration. First of all, it's important to keep in mind that financial regulations are complex and evolve quickly over time. This figure highlights some well-known regulations such as Sarbanes-Oxley, Solvency II, but also the new accounting framework IFRS and also EDM on OFR to mitigate systemic financial risk. To really enforce these financial regulations, it's important to understand that they rely increasingly on XML grammars. Therefore, your information systems must integrate XML financial grammars, such as XBRL, which is the language to publish financial reports. I will take this XML grammar to show how a MDM system can help a company to govern financial statements fully compliant with XBRL. So what is XBRL? XBRL is a taxonomy providing a business dictionary of financial terms so that when a company publishes financial statements, their semantics are fully transparent. It means auditable. As XBRL relies on XML schema, it is possible to establish a robust data repository to manage the taxonomy. We will give further detail in the rest of this presentation. Obviously, if taxonomy items are governed with poor data management tools, such as spreadsheet or rigid databases, the governance will be quickly questioned as concerns are raised, such as version management, write management, auditability, and so on. Therefore, the question we have to tackle is how to manage financial data synchronization on XBRL taxonomy to fully govern the financial reporting process. This figure highlights the usual nightmare when data governance is based on heterogeneous tools on low-level data governance functions. All too often, such spreadsheets are used to consolidate data and link them to XBRL taxonomy items. In this situation, data traceability, auditability, version management, write management, and so on cannot be ensured. This is a big concern when a company faces compelling events. The confidence of its uh, stakeholders can be reduced due to a lack of financial auditability. To tackle this concern of data synchronization and governance, the company must establish a unified data model of its financial information and taxonomy items, coming from business regulations such as XBRL. Then this information model is declared in a master data management repository. This MDM is used to enforce unified data synchronization. Furthermore, it brings all data governance features to ensure data traceability and auditability, but also permission management, data approval workflow, and so on. This approach is important to mitigate risk uh, in financial statements, and then is very reassuring for all companies' stakeholders. This figure shows the intrinsic value of financial information. When data governance is weak, the intrinsic value is very low. It means that the level of confidence is bad. On the opposite, when data governance is enforced with help from an MDM system, the intrinsic value of financial information is higher. It means that the level of confidence is really better. During the second part of my presentation, I would like to show a concrete implementation of XBRL in an MDM system. I will take the example of an international balance sheet structure with categories and subcategories of asset and liabilities. This data model is the unified view of financial information describing the balance sheet and the relation to XBRL taxonomies. 
This is a logical data model. We can see that asset and liability are linked to balance sheet subcategories and to X BRL taxonomy items depending on the subcategories. Every subcategory is attached to X BRL taxonomy items and to a balance sheet category. We have declared this data model in the MDM tool EBX developed by orchestra networks companies. This screen shows the data hierarchy of the balance sheet with some categories and subcategories. It's important to say that this is a model-driven MDM. It means that all user interfaces are automatically generated without any specific software development. This screen allows a user to manage X BRL taxonomy. Every taxonomy item is defined through its thematic, its data type, and its business regulation affiliations such as IFRS, CoREP, USGAP, and so on. It's also possible to create its own taxonomy items to enrich the standard in the form of extended taxonomy. Based on the balance sheet structure on taxonomy, it is easy to declare links between both. It means that every taxonomy is attached to exactly one subcategory of the balance sheet. This screen shows the data hierarchy of XBRL taxonomy on subcategory. When an asset or a liability is entered into the balance sheet, it is associated with a subcategory and then to an item of the XBRL taxonomy, depending on this subcategory. This last screen highlights an important data governance function. This is the data version management. In this simple example, you can see two different versions of the XBRL regulation. In the first version in the left, the taxonomy item is asset current, whereas in the second version in the right, it is equal to asset current by period of time. This ability to compare version of data is very important when a company has to deal with successive versions of a regulation. It allows for identifying and managing easily data values differences between versions. Usually this mechanism is also applied to other key financial data such as cash flows, budget, forecast, and so on. The MDM system is used to synchronize and govern all financial information over time. From this data repository, an extraction program is used to publish information in XML format, fully compliant with XBRL taxonomy, the right version of the business regulation. You can say that financial statements are more auditable, secure, and transparent. In conclusion, rather than using poor spreadsheets on rigid databases to synchronize the financial data and business regulations, the company has a great interest to design a unified financial data and implement it into an MDM system compliant with XML schema and sufficiently agile to allow an interactive approach with key data governance features such as version management. Then if you are willing to make a try with this MDM system, I invite you to connect to www.orchestranetworks.com and I remain at your disposal to provide you with more technical support. Thanks for watching this video, hope it's helpful. Feel free to share your opinion in our LinkedIn group. Uh, send me an email to subscribe. Thanks again, bye bye.